All right, so this is what we ended up with. Okay, and it's not sexy at all, and we are not accomplishing any of the things that JavaScript was made for. JavaScript wasn't made just to change HTML or CSS or whatever. JavaScript was made to respond to events. So what is an event? An event is anything that happens on a website, such as a click, resize, submit, input change, load, before closing, closing, printing, anything, it's, a, it's, um, it's an event. And the good news is that we can intercept these events, okay? So for example, I'm gonna give you an example, um, window. Window has some events that are different to the events on, for example, an input. An input has an event of, um, no, not an input, sorry. Let's say a form. If this was a form, there would be an event called submit, but input doesn't exist because you cannot submit, sorry, submit doesn't exist on Windows, on window, because you cannot submit a window, right? That kind of. So let's try to do resize. So this is how we listen to an event. Like I said, JavaScript listens to events, but we have to explicitly say uh, which ones because we don't wanna just listen to all of them because some of them we don't care about and that will make the website very slow. So when we say listener, then what we need to do is come here and as a second argument, here we put a function that will handle that event. As you can see here, it says listener. Okay, and here we put a function that will handle that event. So let's create a function real quick and let's make it function. Um, handle resize okay and here we're going to console log I have been resized okay and here we're gonna say that when the window is resized call this function okay and what I want you to see is that it is saying handle resize like this not like this and that is very, very important that you know. One thing, give me one second, yes. One thing is um, doing this, and this basically means call the function, call the function handle resize when you need it. If you do this, I, if you do this, that just means call it right fucking now. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that console here, I refresh, and already says I have been resized, but I haven't resized. The thing is that it just calls it automatically, and I don't want that. I just wanna say, hey, when the function, uh, when the window is resized, then call this function, all right? Remember that, it's very, very important that you don't call the function immediately, okay? Cool. Let's refresh, and as you can see, it doesn't say I have been resized, but now if I come to my browser and I resize it, it shows me all the resize events that are happening. Cool, huh? Fucking awesome. So this is me listening to one event. This is what I actually want. I wanna listen to one event. Now, there is a trick here. I wanna show you that. What happens if I console log this event? You will say, yo, wait, what you say, wait, what happens? What do you mean event? Where is it coming from? Where it comes from JavaScript. Whenever you make a function that will handle an event, JavaScript will automatically push the event object into your function. So you need to be ready to handle it. It was like uh, before when we did the say hello function. There were some arguments there and we need to get ready to handle them. Whether we want to or not, JavaScript inside of this function is going to call handle resize like this. Um, event here is going to call it with the event. So what we need to do is we need to just handle it and we need to just say console log event. All right, so now we come here, we refresh and let's try to resize. Look at that. We see the event object that is fired every time this event happens. So look at that target, type, resize, timestamp, path, current target is a window and all the stuff that we don't mind.
okay? So this thing is not useful right now because it's a resize event, but it would be useful, for example, when we are making a form or when we click on a link or stuff like that, that is when it's gonna be useful. But this we're gonna talk about later. So for now, let's not worry about event and let's change this event. What I wanna do is I wanna do title and title is going to listen for a click. And the, instead of handle resize, it will be handle click. All right, and what I'm gonna do here is that every time that somebody clicks on my title, I wanna turn it into blue. So this means that I'm gonna say title that oh style is it style or styles i forgot style that color equals red or blue whatever okay let's see if it works so i refresh here nothing there but now the title is listening to a click and how is it going to react when i click on it there you go red bravo this changes to blue in case of problem and we're good. Now, as you can see here, there is a problem. And the problem is that when we click, nothing else happens. It only happens once. When I click, it pulls the color to blue, but it stays blue. Here it is, you see? Nothing happens. Right now, there is no style. When I click on it, there is a style, but I cannot remove it. So that will be on the next video where we are going to learn how to check if the color is blue, then, we're gonna do something. If the color is not blue, then we're gonna do something else. So see you on the next one. Bye-bye.